Hi everyone, and welcome to another Mega Constructs Call of Duty review. Thank you for all the support on my Warzone Squad review, as that really pushed me to make this review for you all. Today we are taking a look at HBG 37 Crash Site Battle, a set which is inspired by the Crash map from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, with a couple of figures based on 2019's Modern Warfare. Let's jump in and take a closer look at this set. Up first we have the two figures, with one being the Modern Warfare 2019 version of the Juggernaut as seen in Special Ops, and the other being the Operator Mace from the Allegiance Faction. Looking at the Juggernaut first, we have an interesting colour scheme here present here, uh, with some tan legs, and we also get a big build for the Juggernaut's minigun, and the minigun connects up to the back of the figure's backpack. The backpack also has some nice printed details which look good. Mace, in contrast, comes in a darker uniform, capturing some of the appearances and skins which he has seen in the video game. I like the print for the ski mask here, but I don't think it's quite spot on for how it looks in the game. I do appreciate the golden AK-47 included here though, and the laser designator is a fun accessory. We do get a small build for a small cruise missile on a stand as an accessory, and the intention is for this to be placed inside the top floor of the hotel building. We also get a small flag which adds an additional multiplayer element to the set, helping fans to recreate some different game modes. Next up, we have the small build of a ruined front of a Chinook, an element which is crucial in this map, and I really like the way this is constructed with the flames and the remnants of the cruise missile and especially nice detail. The cockpit has some really nice detail packed in on the controls, and I think the Alcatala logo on the side of the model is a nice inclusion which reminds us that this is a more modern reimagining of the classic Crash map. I love this build but it's bittersweet as I would love to see a full-sized Chinook in the COD line at some point in the future. Lastly, we have the Hotel Aeron itself, a small two-storey hotel building which isn't actually accessible in the map in the game. I personally really love this build. The unique architecture which is present throughout the exterior of the building really helps to add some unique visual distinction to it, and it creates a fantastic backdrop which looks awesome in a Call of Duty display. I also love the interior space here, and whilst it isn't particularly spacious, there is still plenty of room to display a good amount of minifigures, and that means that there's some good play options too. There is also a small amount of space on the rooftop for even more display space, and a cruise missile attached to the side of the building via a ball joint so you can adjust the angle of it, and I really like how throughout this set it tells the story of Mace sort of calling in that cruise missile strike, the missile being launched, and then hitting the Chinook. This is a really great main build for a set, and it's especially welcome as we don't get that many structures from Mega Constructs. In summary, I really like this set. We have lots of detail packed in, and we get a really nice unique modern structure, something which we don't often see in the COD line. This is a fantastic COD set in its own right, and it's also bound to work really well with things like the Halo line too. Thanks as always for checking out this review. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and as always, have a great week.